guys. It's July. It's July 5th, matter of fact. I'm in Alabama with Kenny doing our annual float here on the creek after the Bama spotted bass, which is the one of the funnest fish to catch. Most beautiful fish I believe I've ever seen. And uh, the water here is just so gorgeous. Look at it. Ain't it pretty? We're gonna do the same float we did last year. Caught pretty good last year. Maybe we'll catch you good today. I know they're here. Kenny's caught some giants here over the years and uh, I'm excited to get in the water and get after it. There you go. We finally caught a spot. 200 cast layers. About a pound and a half each. They're so pretty. And aggressive. Fight. That fish up there feels like you fought a three or four pound yeah. one. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. There's the ain't. Hey, look at the colors. Man, that's a nice fish. <laughs> awesome, man. That's so cool. What a fish. Hot dog. I think I caught a spot. I did. I got a spot here. Got him. My first spot of the day. You know, little guy. You know there's a big one saved up in this deep hole. Right? I'd say probably six. Oh, God. He's freaking. Oh, God. He got it then. Good one? Kenny, is that a good one? Yeah. Oh, it's a gar! Oh, I'm filming you, I'm filming you. Kenny got a giant gar! Look at that thing! Oh, he's a big one. Hey, let's go. You want to go to the, uh, to the left here? Or where, where are you going to go? Right here to this mud bank? Yeah. I can't believe he's still on. Usually they won't stay on. You got him hooked good. Look at that thing like a missile. If you can get your fish grabber on him up here in the shallow, you I got I'd love to get some picture of that thing if you can get a fish on the fish grabber. You know what? I've never caught a Well my god, you did a <laughs> You broke the ice with a good <laughs> That's a hammer. He's done. Big old gar, that's a hammer. It's beautiful. He's three and a half feet long. 
<laughs> Kenny's on today, guys. He's catching everything. He's been caught coosa bass, a big old spot. And now he's got a bag on. I think. Look at how it hooks. Under his thumb. Yep. He's done. Look at the teeth in that thing, dude. I can rake you both. Come right out. I'm telling you, you can't hardly hook them. That is awesome. Oh. <laughs> did you? He got you. He did? He's been, oh. Look, here he is. Look, you don't even know. <laughs> Yeah, man, they freaking cut you. I didn't bring my first aid kit. I know, right? Oh what the my hell? Gosh. Yeah, there got to be a fish right there. That's a good one. That one? Yeah. Good one? Ah, uh, he ain't bad. The biggest one I've caught today. No, he just hooked in top of the head. Oh no, it's one of them damn. That's a bad. It's a good one though. Look at that thing. That is crazy. Look at that thing. How pretty that thing is. I'm assuming that's a Tusa bass. I don't... I, I don't know. I'm not positive. Look at that thing though. It's pretty. I got a big it. Three quarter inch. Eighteen three quarter inch. That's a solid one. So pretty. Look at that. What'd you say? Eighteen three quarter? Mm-hmm. That's nice. They fight hard and they're beautiful. Let's go catch another. I think we got some more of these in our future. I hope so. I hope there's a bunch more of them. It's been tough. Come on, dude. He's like, what's going on here? He don't even know he's loose. Look at that. <laughs>
guys. Kenny and I had a pretty awesome float on the creek there, but uh, I'm gonna do something in this video that I've been doing for a while now, and that's a boat walk through. Of course, here comes the airplane. Can't do anything without an airplane. Anyway. I have had this boat. This is the second second summer I've had this boat. I got it last got it last fall. No, fall before last. And uh, this is the second summer I've fished with it. I, I do most of my fishing during the summer. Uh, I don't do any fall fishing like that. I'm too busy deer hunting. And plus, I like topwater fishing, and that's when the fish are hitting topwaters during the summer. But anyway. I got a perception outlaw. I think it's 11 and a half foot. Perfect length, perfect weight. I, uh, I'll show you what I put on the bottom of it. Just product called Gator Guards. You see that? That kind of saves the bottom. Uh, a boat that's a uh, lesser model like this one right here, it's a little bit lighter. The plastic's not as dense. So, uh, you really need something that's going to protect the bottom of it. Those gator guards work great. As much as I fish out of them during the summer and the rocky as these rivers are, as much as dragging as I do, uh, it'll eat the bottom of a boat up, but those gator guards save it. Anyway, I love this boat. The only downside of this boat is you have no dry storage. And I'm okay with that. I, I, I'm, I've reached a point now where I do want some dry storage. I can put more rods. I can put another paddle, you know, and uh, just stuff, you know, stuff. And uh, especially when it's four or five people and you need some food, you need, you know, or you do a trip, camping trip or what have you. I'm going to upgrade next year uh, to a different boat. But this is a great boat nonetheless. I've been tickled with it. Uh, had a perception before that. I love the drink holders. I love the trays. Uh, some things I carry on the boat, of course. Got to have your pliers, got to have your fingernail clippers, got to have scissors. Everything is tethered to the boat because you never know when you're going to flip. You never know when you're going to lose stuff. Uh, I got it tethered to the seat right here. Stainless steel, lanyard, rubber coated. Uh, I got a really heavy duty one right here for my fish grabber. A fish grabber is another necessity. You can see that stainless in there rubber coated heavy duty uh this fish grabber right here is awesome must have for kayak fishing you catch a big fish and you can put that put that on him and uh, put him in the water save the fish you know you're not damaging the fish at all he's not struggling for air and uh, keep him in the water get your pictures and uh turn him loose with minimal damage fish grabber is awesome Always cinch it down, loop this over the end here and cinch it down because if you don't, you can lose fish. Done it before. Been there, done it. Uh, net. This net right here, rubber coated net, is the bee's knees. Uh, I wish I'd have had it uh, years ago when I was wade fishing a lot. I lost so many fish not having a net. You can hook that to you. I keep it in between my legs while I'm fishing. Handy spot so you can net your fish real easy. Got measuring sticks. A uh, very comfortable seat on this thing. You sit up higher, it's sit on top, but it's not like most of your sit-ons now that sit up really, really high. It doesn't sit up that high, but it's high enough. It's, it's comfortable. Uh, this whole design, which I think, I'm not positive, it's kind of like a catamaran style. You see that? Very, very buoyant. Hard to flip. Can't hardly flip it. Love it. Several rod holders. Uh, gear tracks right here act as handles really really like it you can put all kinds of stuff on here to customize it uh here's my handle derek actually customized this for me with a grill old grill handle that's a necessity dragging your boat around hit shallow water you want to be able to drag your boat around anyway guys there it is you got some mats here uh that are really comfortable. I can see that one starting to come up, but wear and tear, wear and tear. I can stand up and fish out of this thing, no problem. Very nice, and it's just light enough where I can manhandle it in certain areas, fish a lot of places by myself, so. It's nice having a lighter boat. Uh, kind of a trade-off with the kayaks. Uh, the lighter, 
less dense and uh, i will say that easier to knock a hole in it that's why i put uh flex seal tape on it and uh those gator guards they protect it pretty well this boat boat has held up a lot better than i thought it would uh and they're fairly cheap i bought this one brand new comfortable seat awesome boat i love it sometimes i notice in the rapids you know it doesn't it, you know it wants to spin on you but I, all kayaks do that to a certain extent but especially when i got a heavy cooler in here nonetheless i love it it's uh my second fishing kayak and i've had a ball with it <laughs> a couple hundred fish out of it uh pretty awesome anyway we uh kenny and i had a fantastic time on the creek there creek we float every year caught a bunch of spotted bass kenny caught a big gar and uh it's getting closer to deer season but i still got a lot of fishing to do and there is goof so probably do some small mouth fishing here to wrap the fishing season up but, and get focused on these deer guys thanks so much for watching you got any questions leave me a comment about this boat uh i love it i mean i give it a 10 out of 10. thanks guys